Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. We're out on the lake. It's a beautiful day here. It's September. We got some boats out there, ship way out there. We got the spark. And we're going to take it up and out. We're going to do a little uh, just flying around, probably do some hyperlapse at the end of this, maybe. So uh, I've checked hover. I'm clear to fly. So let's go ahead and uh, let's take this guy up. So my home point has been updated, and uh, I'm sitting out there pretty nice. So I'm going to start video recording. I've got the video recording going. I need to adjust my um, screen here up a little bit. So I'm using the iPhone 5S with this uh, 3D printed mount and everything and my cover. So it's actually looking pretty good. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, I'm just going to start taking it out over the water and capture some video as we move it out over the water. I don't know why it's sort of going sideways. I want it to go that way. There we go. And so we're just kind of taking it out there. A little bit sunny. Beautiful day on the water and just kind of catching some, some views over the lake. Let's, uh, I'm only a few feet above the water. Let's just gimbal down. So there's the water underneath me. So as I'm taking it out, you can see the rush of water underneath as it's going out, which is kind of cool. And uh, what I want to do, uh, I'm kind of low, so I want to keep an eye on it. I am going to gimbal back up. And uh, just making sure, because I'm at a height where if a boat comes by, it's going to run into me. And I'm still pushing it out there a little bit more. Because I'm only about uh, nine feet up. So we're still heading it out. So again, this park is just a whole lot of little fun. So let's... let's uh, Let's pan this around. Some beautiful clouds in the sky looking over there at Canada. Um, there's the Blue Water Bridge. There's the Fort Gratiot Lighthouse. So, and again, I'm only um, 2.5 meters above the water, so I can see it out there. She's out there, right about out there, just kind of hanging above the water. And that's one of the things I love. It's actually fairly close. I don't know if you can see those buoys. But it's fairly close to those buoys. I've flown out there before with the Phantom 3. So, uh, so I want to pan this around. And I'm going to turn this back around to where it's kind of looking back towards me. So here's where I'm at on this beach way back here. Whoops. And I want to take it up there. So, uh... Take this back around. Okay, that's looking down. The view on the screen is really, really tiny. There's looking back to the lake. Probably won't be too much wind noise, but it's kind of kicked up a little bit. Uh, I want to go back out this way. Just again, just look and see any boats coming, because if any boats are coming, I have to go up. So I'm just kind of keeping an eye on things. I don't know, I have to watch for airplanes, but i got to watch for boats now. I just love the view of this water as it rolls by underneath. So I'm out about 300, well, about uh, 229 meters. Still have really good signal strength. And just still pushing it along out there. So let's yaw it around. Let's get another view from this angle of the, uh, the bridge and the lighthouse. And uh, what I want to do is I want to start taking it up a little bit. And I'm going to bring it back at a little bit higher. And I'm up about 12, 14, 15. 
I'm gonna go up about 20 meters. 20 meters, I'm up about 60 feet. Yep, yeah, I'm pretty good out there. And uh, yeah, you can see I've got a pretty good perspective now with the bridge and the uh, the clouds and a great day. I'm hoping uh, some of the hyperlapse. I'm gonna try to grab some some short footage here with the clouds and sort of just looking down this way. Uh, the bridge is kind of backed up. I don't know if you can see it down there, but a lot of trucks backed up coming over on from the Canadian side. Uh, so I don't know if I'll catch a lot of movement in a hyperlapse of this. Uh, but again, I'm just going to let it sit and hang out and catch a little bit of video. Now, normally when I'm shooting, I'm up beach uh, a fair amount up that way. And so, uh, again, down here, I'm catching it. Now, I've got to be a little bit careful because just on the other side of those buoys uh, actually starts a restricted line. Now, I'm okay until about 100 feet the other side of that. Uh, but number one, it's Canadian water, so I'm still in U.S. territory. And I'm just the other side of, um, you know, a five-mile airport zone for the Sarnia Airport. So that's one of the reasons I kind of want to stay back, and I want to be respectful. And even though technically it's not on this side, I want to stay down a little bit uh, just to capture some images and, you know, kind of follow the regulations, even though I'm still a little bit on the safe side. Better be safe than sorry. So Coast Guard sitting out there. Don't know what they're doing out there, but they're out there. Um, because actually the Coast Guard base, if you can see that orange building over there, that's where the Coast Guard base is. Um, and so they're on the other side of the lighthouse, and that's Fort Gratiot Lighthouse, I think I've mentioned before. And so, uh, anyways, we're just sitting up there capturing some video. And what I want to do, I want to kind of... I want to capture some pan video. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slowly pan this around. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably cut this into a hyperlapse, the pan. So I'm going to do a complete pan. Now one of the things with the hyperlapse that I'm experimenting with is, is the time. So typically four to eight times the, um, the speed is what I'm running. And so, oh, there's the buoy. I got sidetracked by something pretty. Um, I've got a little bit of battery left. I want to see if I can't uh, move in on that buoy a little bit more. That buoy marks the side of the shipping channel, so I'm going out. I'm now crossing over 300 meters. And uh, I well got that baby in sight, so that's actually pretty good. So it just and uh, as I come down, as I approach it, I want to gimbal down a little bit. So you can see it out there. I'm out there by that green buoy. And I'm starting to fly over the green buoy. I've now the bird. Now I'm passing over the green buoy, and now I'm over top of the green buoy. I'm going to spin this bad boy around, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to point it back to the home point, and I'm going to kick this into sport mode, and I'm going to bring it back fast. Because I am running low on battery. And I'm going to gimbal up so I can see where I'm headed. In general, I should be headed back towards myself. And I'm going to pull it down in altitude. Ah, there we are. High wind velocity. We're okay. We've made it back. So, boy, that was, that was, I tell you what, uh, that made quick work of it in sport mode. I am super impressed. I am super impressed. I want to go ahead and I want to save out the video. And I want to start bringing this down. Oh, my landing pad's over here. Uh, let's flip this 
this bad boy around so I can get my perspective, let's back it up. I still got it in sport mode, I'm gonna clip it out of sport mode. Try to get it on the pad. This uh, 3D printed pad I, I did actually is a good size, works really good. I've got the, the bigger one, uh, the commercial one. I'm gonna go ahead and set it down. I totally missed at the very end, but uh, anyways, hey, this was a great flight today, guys. Beautiful weather out here. Beautiful weather out on the lake. Got ships, got sailboats, got a lighthouse got everything you can imagine so very much enjoy this so hey let me know what you're thinking about for lunch uh, in the comments below uh, don't forget the subscribe button over there and hey we'll see you guys in the next video cheers